Thank you for listening to the Golden Hour Drip podcast with me, Logan Lee Miller. Enjoy the show. Welcome back to the Golden Hour Drip podcast. I'm your host, Logan Lee Miller, and with the shorter days, I feel like I am needing to put even more time into my night routine and making sure that I'm winding down properly because it feels like my day is literally nothing. It's like a blink of an eye and I'm like, oh my gosh, where did my day go? Because although it's only like 4.40 outside, it feels like it's 9 p.m. Like I I do this every single year to help me just like stay sane because when you wake up in the morning, you know, say you wake up at six o'clock, it's dark outside and the sun is just starting to rise. And if you go to work and commute somewhere, it can be dark and then you come home and, or when you get off work, and it's literally like, oh, like, where did the day go? I have been trying so hard to find like just a differentiation of that was my work day and then this is my, you know, afternoon, my evening, the time for myself where I can reset and I can, you know, really use it as a, a self-care moment, honestly. For me, I do work from home. So I'm not like driving somewhere in the morning when it's still dark, staying all day at one place and then coming home, which some people might think, oh, you like don't know how it it is. But even working from home, I never essentially leave, right? Like I never leave the house. So I can be on like work mode the entire time. I wake up and I can walk into my office and I can check an email or I can do something for the podcast or do something for the Golden Gal Network or or whatever. And then, you know, I, I spend my work day at five o'clock. Who's a stay that I stop? Like I could continue. I could continue to work because it's not like I have a drive time what's 5, 10, 15 more minutes? What's what's an hour, you know? And so for me to really have something that says, hey, like the work day is done, it's time to relax, it's time to chill, it's time to do all those other things is so imperative um, because if not, like you will continuously just feel stressed and on all the time. So even like a morning routine has been so helpful, like making sure that I am getting dressed for the day, getting a coffee or like having, going for a walk, like all of those things just help me differentiate. Okay. Like it's morning and now I've had time for myself and now we're going to have our work day and even so much more in the afternoon. So after I get done work, I try to like just shut all the laptops. So uh, personal laptops were shutting, work laptops were shutting, iPad were shutting. Like I try to disconnect with all of electronics as quickly as I can. I just find that like tuning out of that and not being available to everyone all the time has done so much for my mental clarity and it, it we are not supposed to be at everyone's access at all times right and i think with a cell phone people forget like oh they might not want to be on their cell phone or i might not like be able to ask them something because it's evening i remember growing up like we there was absolutely no cell phones at the table we had stuff to do after school, whether that was homework or chores or um, crafts or hobbies or whatever. And so I'm really trying to do a reset, a factory reset on myself. And instead of being so connected to technology, to read some of the books that I've you know picked up or to take a long bath with no electronics. I've been removing my Apple Watch actually quite a bit I go to um, yoga class in the evenings. Right now I've been loving a evening workout class because I am like struggling with the morning um, waking up so early. So I've been just like going to my hot yoga class in the afternoon after work. That also helps me differentiate between the work day and you know having time for myself because I immediately go somewhere 
after work. I'm like, okay, like I'm, I'm headed to the yoga studio and I sometimes will wear my watch and record the workout, but often I have not been taking my watch and I feel because the yoga room has no cell phones, it is so nice to just lay on my bat, mat, not have my Apple watch on, not have anything connecting me, be in my body and totally present. Sometimes I review the day, but other times I leave the day at the door and I'm just going in and I'm like, you know what? This is me time. I have 45 minutes where I am completely disconnected. Then on the way home, usually I put on an educational podcast or even sometimes like a fun podcast um, or an audio book because I do have like a 30 minute drive. Um, I use that time to yes, it's somewhat social media or um, content, right? Like I'm, I'm consuming something, but I am not consuming that throughout the day. I don't have a podcast playing at all times during the day. I don't have a audio book going at all. You know, like those aren't things that I normally do, right? Throughout my work day. Um, if I am listening to an audio book or a podcast, it's when I'm cleaning and that's during the weekends. So even like on the drive, that's a way for me to disconnect um, from my work day and be like, okay, like we are on our time. We're coming back from our yoga session and, and that is amazing for body and mind. You're like, okay, I'm in the car. Like I just had so much great um, focus time to myself. Now I might learn something new. Um, but th those have been great to help like extend my evening. It's like, oh, we have somewhere to be, we have an event and it's still like good for me. And it, it plays a part in my goals and overall, um, uh, happiness, right? So a workout right after work is, is great for an evening routine. Listening to a chapter in a book, great for an evening routine. Um, I also, every night I'm taking off whatever makeup I have on. I'm cleansing my face. I'm putting my skincare on. Um, I'm changing out of my work clothes into pajamas. Today, I will say I was in my pajamas from when I started work at like 8 until like 10, 11 o'clock, then I switched into work clothes. Um, I had just like hadn't gotten around to changing. I immediately, again, it's not having a morning routine. It's coming, um, you know, from getting my coffee and from waking up and maybe I'm reading a little bit of my book or I'm scrolling social media and then I'm like, oh, I have to log on or whatever and I'm still in my pajamas. That does not help extend my day because then I, I feel like I've had no differentiation of my work day and you know waking up. The same goes for after work, um, putting on soft clothes. Even when I did work at a corporate job, as soon as I got home, I was changing out of my work clothes and I was putting on leggings or I was putting on bed shorts or bed pants or whatever and I took off my makeup immediately. Like that was part of my routine when I got home was I was cleansing off the work day and I was putting on soft, comfortable clothes um, to relax around my home. So even an outfit switch can help extend your evenings, help you feel like it's a new section of your day. Um, Ed Milet says something so powerful about he uses his day and he breaks it down in certain time periods. So instead of having one day, he has multiple days within his day and every like four hours he's pivoting to something else. While this might seem extreme to some people, I still think that viewing your day in chunks as in, okay, this was the morning, maybe I had, you know, something come up and it was like bad and I had like a, a bad morning. I can pivot after, you know, four hours, say 10 o'clock. I'm like, you know what? It's 10 o'clock. Um, the next couple hours are going to be amazing. I'm going to knock these things out. Um, and it's like pivoting day to day in your same day. Um, and he, he switches the task or the topic he is working on and that way he's always moving and always like increasing on his, um, his goals. So for me, like I think of, okay, I just had my work day. I still have a day to explore and do after the work day. Like there is more after the, the 5 PM, right? You might be getting home at six. 
however long your commute is, you can still view that as, okay, I have four hours. Hey, I hope that you're enjoying today's podcast episode. Just a quick interruption to let you know that Golden Hour Drip has a weekly newsletter that comes out. This has bonus content, weekly updates, and future event information. If you haven't already, go down to the show notes, click the link, and join today. Now, back to the show. Of my evening that I'm able to do something and, uh, you know, and pivot and your mindset and actually physicality of what you're doing. So I love that viewing your evening as its own day is so good too because it's like all right like this is the second half this is the third this is the fourth whatever part of your day you're at um that can be monumental on okay we're gonna get some stuff done so i view my evening as okay what what is on the list what needs to be done for tomorrow like prepping wise because to have like a good day, you always have to do something in your evening routine that helps set you up for success, whether that's taking off your makeup so you're able to, um, you know, apply makeup the next day without trying to uh, scrub off yesterday's makeup, or if it's um, laying out your lunch or making sure that you have groceries or coffee or, or any of those miscellaneous items that you know, filling up your car with fuel the night before, like, doing those things to set you up for success will then allow you to have an even better evening the next day. I know when I take care of myself in this way, my evenings are way more structured and relaxing in turn because when I can get all my work done, when I can get all those things that need to be done but I've been putting off finished and completed, I feel way better. Now, I've also been reading books at night. So I have a stack of Christmas books. If you've been watching my Vlogmas, um, I did a, um, a mini book haul um, on one of the days. So Logan Lee Miller on Vlogmas. If you're watching this podcast on YouTube, you can just, you know, click over Logan Lee Miller. You can find all the stuff there. Um, but I did like a little book haul of all these like holiday books that I got and I'm so excited to read them because they're all like Christmas themed and if I have a nighttime routine of all right I've made a supper for myself I'm getting ready for bed sitting in your bed for 10-15 minutes reading a book without your phone can be so good it's like ah uh, like I had an evening, I had time for myself, and it wasn't this time suck of just like staring at your phone and losing track of time um, because it's one video after another. So um, reading books before bed or reading books when you get home is so good. If you're not a reader, there are some really digestible books um, that you can start with or you can do a hobby like crocheting or needlepoint. I've seen so many needlepoint Christmas ornaments it on like TikTok and social media they are so cute and it kind of makes me want to get into needlepoint because they are like such elaborate designs but also like the tutorials that I've been watching seem so simple I'm like I, I could do this I think so even a hobby if it's not reading like doing something that's good for your mind before bed um, can help extend your evening I also like to make a meal for myself. So making sure that I'm like getting ingredients out and, and chopping them and, and making a meal for myself instead of ordering takeout or putting together something that isn't as like nutritious or, or filling. Um, I And the act of making something for yourself, whether that is a meal or you've been crazing craving sorry if you've been craving like chocolate chip cookies or a dessert like to actually make them i've been craving caramels like salted caramels so much that i decided i was like you know what like i'm gonna make salted caramels and it was an event and it was um in a way that i was able to extend my day and, and create a memory with myself that i wouldn't have had if i just went to the grocery store and picked up caramels so making yourself a meal or making yourself if you are totally stressed and, and feel like you don't have enough time 
to make yourself a meal, to put your meal on a plate. Um, you know, if you did order takeout from somewhere to, instead of eating it directly out of the container, to put it on a plate and eat it that way, because now it feels like a meal. It feels like something that has been prepared. It's real. Instead of, you know, trying to eat food as fast as possible while you're driving out of the drive through lane, right? Um, so these little, um, habits and tips can really help you feel like you have an evening routine of, all right, I ate a meal, right? And eat it at the dinner table. Don't eat it in front of the TV. Don't have something, you know, stimulating your brain the entire time because it can feel like you're on a hamster wheel of, okay, I went to work for eight hours and then maybe my lunch was eaten in my vehicle with 15, 30 minutes. Maybe you're lucky, maybe you get an hour for lunch and um, you're eating it so quickly and then you go back to work and you drive home and it's an hour long commute and, and you eat your food in front of the TV like, and then you go to bed. And that is no way to live. And if you are feeling any sort of burnout, burnout is not the, it isn't your job. It isn't the things that you hate doing, right? Like, yes, burnout is associated with working, but when you first started that job, you loved the job, right? Like you thought it was great. Burnout is when you aren't doing enough of the things that fill you up, not doing enough of the things that ignite your soul and, and make you feel happy and make you feel joy. Burnout is when you feel like you're doing so much for others. You feel like the job isn't you know, paying in, back into you, um, but really you aren't doing enough things that fill you up. A, a job is a job for a reason. You don't have to love it. It doesn't have to be your passion. It doesn't have to be your career or anything like that. It, it serves its purpose and you can find so much joy by going outside of work and making sure you have an evening routine, making sure you have a morning routine, making sure that you are differentiating the different parts of your day so then you feel like a human and you don't feel like on you're on a hamster wheel just running, running, running. You're taking time for yourself. Um, and I really think that the social media disconnect is so good. If you are able to put your phone away, if you are able to silence any of the emails that you get, I like to put a do not disturb after 6 p.m. My phone kind of like shuts down. Um, I don't have access to my social media apps. This doesn't mean that I'm not on them, but it does give me like a timer and a limit where it's like, hey, um, you know, you're going to have to put your password in again to snooze it for 15 minutes or whatever. Um, but I just find that these little habits that I do can really extend my evening and make it not feel like, okay, it's dark outside, it's time for bed. And energy is not created, right? Like we always think, oh, like if I could just find some energy or maybe this coffee will give me energy or maybe I'll have energy tomorrow energy is already within you, right? Or even like the want to do something. I know that energy is only like transferred and you could be thinking, oh my gosh, when I drink my coffee, the caffeine from the coffee is transferred to me. Okay, cool. Like you might get a little jolt of energy, but you already have it within you. And it's like, the Newton's law, uh, whatever is in motion will stay in motion and anything um, that is stopped or still will remain still unless something comes and, and pushes it. Um, and I, I truly think that's for ourselves as well. Like you are going to be stuck in a routine or a short um, day, right? Like where you feel, oh my gosh, my day was so short or I don't even remember the last 30, 60, 90 days because I've done the same thing and nothing for myself. Um, you're going to continue feeling that way unless you find it within yourself to make a change and to maybe put your phone away and pull out a book or instead of just eating the takeout out of the bag to take the takeout out and put it on a plate. Even better, you sit at your dining room table and you quickly pull out a food pickup, right? Like even Walmart does food pickup and you order your groceries for tomorrow so that you could make yourself a meal and, and have it as an event and have it as something to look forward to and not something to dread because happiness is when you choose it. 
And if you're always waiting for tomorrow and always waiting, oh, like it'll be better when summer comes and then summer comes and you're like, oh, I can't wait until, you know, the holidays and I feel so cheerful and loved. Life is what you make it. And if you feel like your days are not being spent in the proper ways, maybe it's time that you make a change and you find those silly little ways where you can find happiness and you can find like, hey, I had a work day, it might have been good, it might have been bad, but as soon as I reach my front door, it is a completely new day or a new period, a new couple hours, and I'm gonna make the best of it. So the the winter is always hard. It's hard on me. The shorter days and the you know lack of sunshine, it, it's hard for anybody. So if you're in it, just know you are not alone. Um, and I hope that some of these ways have helped you to feel like you can have an evening routine and feel like you can expand your day into something more than just going to work. Thank you so much for listening and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.